Thank you for watching us as we praised God. God bless you all that you sang with us. Thank you. Now, Pastor Lawrence is coming to bring us the Word of God to you. Please, everyone, pay attention to God's Word because God wants you to know who He is. So please pay attention. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We thank you and we really appreciate everyone who's watching, taking time from your busy schedule uh, to sit and watch us, just like every other Sunday uh, where we used to gather together. Now, even though we're separated in different, different places, still we can have church together. So we really appreciate you joining with us. Okay, today I want to share with you from Psalm 37. The title is what? Good and Evil Compared. Now this psalm is sort of long. It's 40 verses, so we can't talk about every verse. So we've chosen a few of the verses just to show the comparison between good and evil. Good and evil, those two concepts, we know well. When did it start? Well, we know it started evil a long time ago with Adam and Eve. Remember, God told them uh, he showed them two trees in the middle of the garden. One was called the tree of life. The next one is called the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We know the story. Adam and Eve ate the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and became uh, knowing what the difference was between good and evil. So that knowledge passed down through the generations, so all people on earth know the difference between good and evil. We need to remember that the world's idea of good and the world's idea of evil has changed over the years. That's why we need to look to God's Word, the Bible, to find the true meaning of good and evil. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of the verses from Psalm 37 and see what God says about good and evil. All right? Psalm 37, verse 1 reads, A Song of David Don't get upset about evil people. Don't be jealous of those who do wrong. And verse 2 says, Why? They are like the grass and other green plants that dry up quickly and die. It looks like they're evil people are rich, they're doing really good, they're healthy and strong, but be careful because Let's wait and see. God has a plan to deal with them. And with all the people doing evil, it may look like they're doing well, but soon enough, the grass, just like the grass, you see how it changed to brown? Same. That's evil people. They're here for a short time, and soon they're gone. So let's see what happens now. So what does the Bible say from Psalm 37, verse 3? It says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Live on your land and be dependable. That's not how we look at evil people. We get so jealous over them. They're rich and 
They got a nice car, they got a nice house, everything. We get jealous. No, don't worry about them. Let's pay attention to God. Let's focus on God and obey Him and do good. And we'll live a long time. God will take care of them. Many times you see evil, rich people that are evil. And, and I think, hey, I don't have, I only have a little bit of money. I don't have that much fun. But it doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry about them. If they're doing good with their money, that's wonderful. That's fine. But if they do evil, later on, God is going to take care of them. You see what it says in the psalm. We're going to see that in the future in the psalms. Verse 4 says, Enjoy the Lord. Enjoy serving the Lord, and He will give you whatever you want. If we use all our time worrying about and watching the evil people that are rich and get so jealous over them, it's a waste of time. We need to use our time for what? Serving the Lord. Serving God, doing what He wants us. And He wants us to do what? Do good. We like doing good, of course, when people are looking at us and they see us doing good and they go, Oh, what a good job, wonderful person. And they pat us on the back. But many times... Too many times when we do good, nobody knows, nobody else knows about it. We do good, nobody will pat us on the back, nobody will praise us. But remember, God is watching. The Bible says God sees the good and He sees the evil. Just the same as evil God is going to take care of them. God is going to take care of you if you do good. It says, enjoy yourself in the Lord. Why? He will give you whatever you want. Verse 5 says, depend on the Lord. Trust in Him and He will help you. Maybe you, especially in these days, we feel like we're all alone because we have to stay home. There's no visiting, nobody calling. We feel alone. But remember the Lord. He is with you. He will help you. We have to remember the things we see, everything we see, is here for a short time. But what we cannot see, that stays forever. God, look, we don't see Him, but He's there forever. He doesn't quit. He doesn't leave us. He is with us if we trust Him. That's what verse 5 says. Trust in Him and He will he will help you. So verse 8 says, Don't become so angry and upset that you too want to do evil. It's easy for us, really, to become upset. For example, myself, I have a problem. I have a problem when I'm driving. I'm driving along, and a person from behind me comes zooming around and cuts me off. Me, right away I get angry. I want to hurt that person. But then I remember, wait, doesn't matter. I don't want to become so angry that I do wrong. I want to do right. If a person passes me and cuts me off, so what? I'm just going to keep driving. Let them go. I'm not going to worry about it. 
I'm not going to get angry with them. Believe me, I have to be reminded of this over and over. It's so easy for me to become angry. Remember, I have to remember I myself or the, that God is in control and He will take care of me. I don't want to do evil. I have to remember that God is good and I want to be the same as God, good. So I'm going to do good. Verse 9 says, The wicked, evil, will be destroyed. But those who call to the Lord for help will get the land he promised. Evil people, wicked people, will be destroyed. It looks now like the wicked people are a success. Evil people, they get on with their lives. They do whatever they want. It looks like they're doing well all the time, but one day, every person is going to go before God, and God will judge them. So don't worry about the evil. They will be destroyed. God has promised that in this verse.